Welcome to Electron Line. To give us a better feeling how we can actually find the number pi, as we showed you in the previous video, here we're going to show you numerically how the infinite series slowly converges down to that number pi. As we saw, that the arctangent of x can be written as the integral of 1 over 1 plus x squared dx, which means it's the integral of the infinite series representing this particular fraction, 1 over 1 plus x squared. If we then take the integral of that, we end up with this infinite series, the power series of the arctangent of x. If we then let x go to 1, we know that the arctangent of 1 is equal to 45 degrees or pi over 4. And then from that, we can then say that pi is equal to 4 times the arctangent of 1. So all we have to do is replace every x by 1 multiply this by 4, and the infinite sum, the infinite series, times 4, will give you the value of pi. What does that look like if we were to graph it out? So here we have a graph where we're going to sum up the individual terms of that infinite series. And notice with one term, the value is 4, because we take 4 times 1 gives us 4. Then with two terms, we then subtract from that 4 times 1 third, which is 4 thirds, and we get this value right here. Then we add to that 4 fifths, subtract 4 sevenths, add 4 nines, subtract 4 elevenths, add 4 thirteens, subtract 4 fifteens, and so forth. You can see the pattern. And notice how the values continue to converge to the one value we're looking for, the number pi. Now this is number pi to five decimal places. Of course, they're non-repeating decimal places. They continue on forever. But you can see how that series, as we keep on adding more and more terms, begins to converge to that very famous and most known number, uh, 3.14159 to five decimal places. So it's quite amazing how we can actually find the value of the number pi using this technique. And that's how it's done.